good fellow and add a few roots to that flask, would you? Is it working? Is it working? Patience, Tantor. All scientific discovery involves a great deal of watching and waiting. Why, I once spent an entire winter camped outside a colony of swallows on the English countryside just to observe their social habits. Wow, you must have gathered a lot of valuable data. Uh, well, not exactly. As it turns out, the little vermin actually migrate south for the winter. But you do see my point. Uh, give me the latest pH reading, would you, Tantor? Here to be holding steady. Then I dare say we are on the verge of a breakthrough of monumental proportion. Really? One way to find out, my boy. <laughs> to the very first cup of fine British tea brewed right in the jungle. Here, here. English breakfast in the morning, that's horrible. Uh, Monsieur Dumont, I realize you only deal in cash transactions. Strictly. And I hate to ask you to alter your business practices. <laughs> Perish the thought. Uh, but I do so yearn for a good cup of tea. And I have the very best. Earl Grey arrived just this morning. Yes, I couldn't help but notice. Uh, anyway, as this is a trading post, uh, I am willing to trade this valuable spring-powered centrifuge in exchange for a modest tin of tea. Oh, so sorry, Professor. I have no need for your silly device. No, oh, please! Have mercy! I can't drink one more cup of boiled fern, though, please. <coughs> Daddy, a little decorum, please? Monsieur Dumont, surely you can spare one tin of Earl Grey. Consider it a good deed. Ah, Jane, there are no rewards in good deeds. Sometimes a good deed is its own reward. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Thank you. Oh, how I've missed you, Earl Grey. We have so much to catch up on. Oh, oh, oh pardon me, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Pardon me, Professor. Niels and Mercus. Well, if it isn't Mr. Tarzan. Long time no see, Jungle Man. Not long enough. Put the gun away, Mercus. Every time you take it out, you get us in a more trouble. What are you doing here? Now, now, there's no need to suspect our motives. We're simply here on business. Your business wouldn't involve diamonds, would it? Madam, you know us all too well. Yes, I'm afraid that we left some diamonds behind on our last visit. It was such a hasty departure. Yes, in handcuffs. Tarzan, I'm going to ask that you just please let us find our gems and go. And if I say no, then things may get rough for your little monkey family. Stay away from the gorillas. Please, Tarzan. Our presence here will not harm you or your gorillas in any way whatsoever. You have my word. There. Shall we shake on it? We're going. <laughs> you should have let me get rid of him the last time. As I recall, you tried. More than once. I must say, I'm none too happy to see Niels and Mercus back in the jungle. As long as they stay away from the gorillas, they can do what they want. <sighs> Those two are trouble. I can feel it. No worries. Nothing a fresh pot of genuine British tea won't cure. Oh, sweet Earl Grey. How I've longed for you. Let us never be apart again. Should we leave you and the tea alone? Uh, oh, nonsense. I'm just a man who can appreciate a good cup of tea is all. Tarzan, you'll never guess who's back. Niels and Mercus. Oh, you know. Did I miss the fight? Was it gory? Did they weep like little girls? There was no fight, Turk. Just stay clear of them. They'll be gone soon. Not soon enough for me. I want them out of Africa. Turk, I don't want any trouble. Oh, you're no fun. What good are fists if you don't use them? Ah, oh, here we are. The 
lava flow from that volcanic eruption. If memory serves, this is the tree we took refuge in when you dropped the bag of diamonds. But if the ape man hadn't rescued us so carelessly... Now then, the lava flowed in this direction, carrying the diamonds somewhere about here. So, this is where we dig? This is where we dig. I suppose someone got here before us and stole our diamonds, do you? Oh, yes. And then carefully glued all of this hardened lava back in place. Well, I've dug enough. I say we blast this lava to smithereens. Yes, your typical brutish response. But for once, I agree. We have to be very precise. <laughs> this precise enough? I, 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 one stick will suffice. You set the charge and I'll get the plunger. All set. Let's take the plunge. Blocking the light, Marcus. I can't see them. No. Good heavens! Shoot it! My, that was a big blast for one stick of dynamite. Oh, uh, well, uh, might have been an extra stick or two. <laughs> Is it dead? Oh, I could put it out of its misery. No, wait. Forget the diamonds, my friend. I believe we've just stumbled across something much more valuable. Oh, Mr. Nielsen, I like the way you think. Captured an ape? Kama here. Thule here. Flint and Mungo here. Where's Turk? Turk? Has anybody seen Turk? Oh no. My best friend is in lockdown. I warned her. And them. <laughs> That's the biggest ape I ever laid me eyes on. <laughs> oh, yes. And it will need a big sounding nail. What do you think of? Gargantua. Uh, how about uh, King Crusher? Or, or, or maybe Crunch or the Ape? He's a gorilla, not a pro wrestler. No, he's more of a. Two Blood. <laughs> What kind of stupid name is Two Plot? It's his name. Now look, Tarzan, we promised we wouldn't hurt any of your apes. Well, this one attacked us? He's not one of my apes. He's not? He's <laughs> my enemy. <laughs> he doesn't seem to like you at all. He doesn't. Then you won't mind if we keep him? No, I won't. Excellent. Because Two Blood here is our ticket to success. We'll take him on the open road. <laughs> George and a penny ahead to see the mighty Two Blood. Of course, if he proves unruly, we may have to have him stuffed. <laughs> no more Two Blood. Yeah, bullies in a cage. <laughs> So relieved. I've had so many nightmares about that two blood. Yes, it's certainly a happy ending. Yes, it is. Oh, hi, Turk. Turk! Where have you been? Around. Do I ask you 20 questions? I um I 
what's all the hooting and hollering about? Some humans captured Tublai. <laughs> They're gonna take him away. <laughs> Far away. You are kidding me! Woohoo! That'd be some great news, huh, buddy? Uh, yeah. Great. Oh, so that's why you didn't pound Niels and Mercus into a paste. Oh, good thinking, T. <sighs> T? T? Now, where is he off to in such a hurry? Not so tough now, are you, Mr. Big Bad Two Blood? <laughs> I say your days are pushing people around the rover. Of course, if people are going to pay to see you, you're going to have to be scarier than this, mate. Now let's see you give one of them big ape roars like you did before. Come on, I want to hear you roar, roar like a good giant ape. Oh, I know how to make you roar. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> oh, here you are. I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing up here? I can see the whole jungle from here. Ah, oh, yes. A little perspective on life. So, what's troubling you, Tarzan? Two blood. <laughs> you should be happy. Your most dangerous enemy is no longer a threat. Yes. Yes? But? The jungle is Two Blood's home, too. If it were any other ape, any other animal, this would be wrong. Yes, I suppose that's true. So what makes Two Blood different? Well, there is the little matter of him threatening your life countless times. That doesn't mean he deserves to be ripped from his home. Or killed. You're going to rescue Two Blood? Yes. <sighs> I can't imagine the apes will care for this. No, but sometimes a good deed is its own reward. And sometimes you learn a lesson too well. Do what? Rescue Two Blood. <laughs> it's the right thing to do. You're his mother. Ground him. Send him to his room. Do something. Just don't let him do this. You know there's no changing his mind once it's made up. I'm going, Turk. And you'll get yourself killed. Then where will you be, Mr. Smarty Loincloth? Huh? Then what? <sighs> Sometimes being a best friend ain't all it's cracked up to be. Tarzan! Yo! Wait up! You're gonna need me along to save your keister. Okay. Isn't this where we're supposed to find our assortment of bad guys? They're gone. Mm, 406, 407, 408. <laughs> where did they go? Niels and Mercus? They boarded a boat headed upriver. Where? To catch a train, the Marrakesh Express, which will take them north across the continent. Are you sure? <laughs> but of course, I sold them their first-class tickets myself. First class? This isn't first class. I bet we don't even get our complimentary drinks. Well, it isn't at all. Thanks to two dear, we'll soon be able to buy our own train if we so choose. <laughs> This is going way too far for three guys we just plain don't like. Turk, I'm not changing my mind on this. <sighs> Can't blame me for trying. See here, my good fellow. We've got a plane to catch in Cairo. So let's get this train moving. Sorry, we have to stop for water. <laughs> 
you don't understand. We're very important businessmen. Perhaps you don't understand. Without water, the train won't move at all. So I suggest you learn to live with it. We'll be on our way soon. <laughs> Hairless runt? Oh, yeah, good. Insult the guy saving your life. What are you doing? Freeing you. What? Why? Doesn't make any sense to me, either. Well, 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 what do we have here? Stowaways. After me riches, are you? <laughs> Dead body. <laughs> Way. You caused enough trouble with that. But we have to recapture the base before he gets away. Actually, his escape doesn't seem to be his primary concern. No! This way, right. Okay, really this time, I'm through saving people who want us dead. I have to save Niels and Mercus. From Tublat? Why? Let them rip them apart! That's no better than letting them kill Tublat. Forget the diamonds, he says. The diamonds don't try to kill you! Oh, sure. Don't wait up for me. I can't get my footing. Help! Thank you. This does help. No! Stay out of this run! Never have saved me, Runt! Just because I saved you doesn't mean I like you. One's gonna hold us responsible for all the damages! You've cost us everything, Tarzan. Not everything. You're still alive. Oh, small consolation, thank you. We were going to be alive and rich! In grapes. I didn't expect them to like what I did, Turk. Well, it seems like somebody should appreciate it. I mean, nobody back home is gonna like this. That's true. And I doubt Tublat's gonna cut you any slack next time you and him tangle. Probably not. So, uh, help me out here. What exactly is the upside to all this? I did the right thing, Turk, and that's reward enough. 